Let's see how to fetch individual users information out of an array of users. Previously we saw how to save information into the database and how to fetch it out of it using dot find method. At the route slash view we call index.j template and display names of all our registered users. Let's go ahead and look at that template file. So we have an ordered list with list items that is the names of the registered users. Let's have a look at it. For that we need to turn on the mongodb server. Also run our node.js that is node server and go to localhost port 3000 slash view route. So we have three registered users for now. I'll just hyperlink these names and upon clicking these names, it should take to another route, which we need to write and display information of that individual user. So I'll hyperlink with the route slash user slash the same name. Let us see if it works first. Well, let me bring this down and make it a child of li. You could look at our jade videos present on technotip.com. So now it's working. Look at the hyperlink here. So I'll remove this hyperlink that is name and convert it into underscore ID wherein we have stored the user's email ID. Using that email ID, we are identifying unique users. So it's working. So now once someone clicks here, the individual user's information has to be displayed. So we will go ahead and define the route slash user slash ID. A callback function with request and response parameters. Now make use of our user object dot find method. The first parameter is underscore ID colon request dot params dot our ID. That is where we have our user passed ID. So we've search the database for the information of this particular id the user is requesting if there are any error since we are in development environment we'll just make use of dot json and let us know what's actually present in that entire error object else we will render some other template and pass in the results let's create that template file well template files resides in view we have something called show.j let's make use of that itself okay here let's have an unordered list well let's have an heading there h1 and display the name of the user first that is present inside user.name later on let's display age and email address Let's also have a label here that is age. Next email slash user dot underscore ID. Save this. So the name of our template engine file template file is show dot jade. So we will give show as our first parameter. Next pass in our result by copying it to a variable called user. Also pass in the first result that is because documents is an array that result is an array and we want only the first array element. And it's working. Also remember it this array only has one result by the way all the time we will fix that soon. So this is working by the way. This is all you need to fetch individual users data. Well, we could even use params 
to do something more like a middleware like checking for some functions to be executed before it fetches individual data so next comma it also gets the id which has been requested now just shift this logic onto our params let me align this we also have find by id method which is provided by mongoose module by the way let us use that this would be like showing the use of find by id too so just give the id comma the callback function everything is same except that i'll remove this within the parenthesis i'll copy the result into a variable called request.user id maybe docs remember it doesn't return that is find by id doesn't return an array of objects it just returns an object with its results that's the difference now call upon the next method the next method calls our get with the route slash user slash id wherein i'll simply render my template file that is show and then copy the results into a variable uh, uh, an object called user that's it well i think i wrongly copied the docs here i need to copy request dot user id that's where our results are present well, let's see now this is a bit faster because it only finds the user by its id it's optimized to find user by id so if you are using mongoose module in your node.js application then it would be better to use find by id method well within this params this is a better logic to keep your routes very clean you could do your validation and checking which user id has been requested upon that check its check the user's role and then display some alter some information about the user and then call the next method which passes on to your route and displays the information based on the role that the user has also if this is edit you could see if the user who is asking requesting for the edit is actually the user who is responsible for entering this data like you don't want to let others to let someone else edit your data right similar that that kind of check you could make within this params that is checking the session variable with the email id that is underscore id which the user is trying to edit so like this you could use the params method here so next up next up we'll be seeing how to edit and delete the data out of mongodb via your node.js application so please share this video with your friends on google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon facebook etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and don't forget to like this video on youtube